Hello everyone. Now this is one live case study for one DF user in Japan, and we can see this is one Seagate Rosewood hard drive partial sector access issue, and it has originally partial sector access problem. So it doesn't help even if you have the original backup of the SYS files. We can see from the program open working directory and in this working directory we can see the SYS file copy zero and we can see that the user has these original SYS files. However, after we write these original files, even if the list is written to the original drive and regenerate the translator and the partial sector access problem remains the same. So the backup of this kind of Rosewood hard drives doesn't help mm -hmm. to fix the partial sector access problem because the partial sector access problem is the original problem. That means when users receive these pensioned hard drives, the hard drives have already these problems. So to fix this kind of partial sector access firmware issue, users need to use one function within the DFL Seagate from a repair tool and this function is available in the defects management translator operations and regenerate translator LM. After that we simply click start and the program will fix the partial sector access problem automatically and we can see for this pension hard drive, the data error is accessible from 0 to 775176544. And this is about 380 GB. And after some minutes, the program has added its bad locations to its engine list and then regenerate its translator automatically. We can see the available data error is increasing fast. Now we can see from 380 GB to 560 GB. And then we can see from 560 GB to 1.2 TB. Now we can see these bad locations are automatically fixed. So after some time, and we can see the data error will be fully accessible. So this is one very great automatic firmware repair function for these partial sector access problems. Thank you for watching this video. If users want to learn more about how to use the DFL Seagate firmware repair tool to fix different kind of cases, users can go to the Dorfin YouTube video channel. Thank you again.